हरि ओम तत्सत वेलकम टू स्वामी ज्योतिर्मानंद सोसाइटी अ जर्नी टू सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब फॉर द मिस्टिकल मीनिंग्स एंड टू एंजॉय डेली सत्संग वी आर करेंटली एक्सप्लोरिंग द बुक गुरु भक्ति योगा ऑथर्ड बाय आर परम गुरु स्वामी शिवानंद जी महाराज ऑफ डिवाइन लाइफ सोसाइटी ऋषिकेश इंडिया एंड नरेटेड बाय माई सेल्फ स्वामी निखिलनंदा सो इन टूडे सत्संग वी विल स्टडी अबाउट complete surrender surrender as we say is sharanagati which means annihilating our ego over time becoming humble becoming simple and enjoying the nectar of spirituality with purity and with full divine energy within an earnest and sincere disciple gives his whole heart and soul to the service of his preceptor we should be fully immersed connect with the guru and connect with his mission connect with his teachings see and the guru doesn't mean the physical body it means all the teachings that you have learned from him those have to be imbibed in your daily being an earnest disciple finds means to serve his guru under all circumstances people may be in difficult circumstances whatever capacity they have they should put in their utmost he who endures all the difficulties while serving his guru conquers his lower nature think of lord hanuman how many insurmountable tasks he was assigned and yet he did them with grace energy and with full focus as a result he is known as a great devotee of lord rama disciple must be ever grateful to his guru who has shown the path to peace this statement should not be understated peace is extremely rare in this transient busy rajasik tamasik world very few people get to enjoy sattva and the bliss of peace if you are experiencing more of that that is the guru's grace coming to you even your self effort is guru's and god's grace an ungrateful disciple is a miserable wretch on this earth his lot is pitiable lamentable and deplorable indeed why swami shivananda ji is using these harsh words because with such grace he had the opportunity to connect with the guru and learn and grow and get realized instead he wasted it all for transient pleasures or got obstructed by his ego anger jealousy lust whatever the reasons may be the soul was simply not ready it's like trying to light a wet match stick <laughs> it doesn't work if the match stick is fully dry one strike and you get the light but if it is wet it will not no matter how hard you try so we need to keep it in the sun let it dry and that is the lot of these souls who are lost in the world process even getting the opportunity coming closer to the guru is not enough to propel them to the next level so this is why i always remind you many of you that those of you who are sincerely walking evolving you have been doing this tapasya for many years many lives and it can easily be taken away also what is given to us so therefore let us not fall prey to these negative demons that reside within us and constantly stay in sattva and the best way to stay in sattva is to stay united with the guru become a part of his mission serve him help him even ask him oh guru what can i do for you but if it doesn't come from your heart it simply means that the soul is not ready yet 
if the soul is ready then in spite of sickness in spite of pain in spite of, in spite of so many adversities that radiant beautiful soul will come forward and suffer to help the guru and that suffering is blissful in that suffering resides guru's grace and the evolution of the disciple also these are profound teachings that are not easily available in this world so therefore make sure you have faith 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 in the words and actions of the guru swami ji repeated it three times once is not enough we think we have faith then again we come out and we slip in the mud and we are all dirty again then we have to go back take a shower of sattva of satsanga of our daily practice such is life such is the illusion of life so always have intense faith like shabri did she never lost it imagine 14 years old she was when her guru died saying one day rama will come she continued with intense faith till she was in her 70s so good 6 decades and then lord rama came to bless her so guru's word is never futile it does take time it does take patience so let's move on to enthronement of guru glorification of the guru treating guru like god are great qualifications and that is why we say it is hard to be a true devotee much harder than being a guru a guru has already achieved the things he has already found the answers but the devotee has to walk through the thorns he has to learn the lessons he has to go through the experience and that journey is always one of initial effort but if the devotee has faith and drive effort and tenacity he will certainly overcome and succeed so enthronement is i bow down to the great guru the first and perfect being the revealer of the sacred vedas this is sage ved vyasa who took all these ethereal vibrations in the cosmic energy and he converted them into the vedas the vedas got condensed into the knowledge portion the wisdom portion and it became the upanishads the upanishads got further condensed into bhagavad gita and various other profound teachings so who like a bee extracts the essence of the vedas just like a bee goes in the flower and from the pollen it picks the honey much in the same way these glorious sages and saints have done us a phenomenal grace that has come to us to read these teachings to connect with these divine souls and they are all helping us on our path to liberation so when they are so pure we should try our utmost to be pure also so they comprise gyan and vigyana so the sages and saints always focus on two things gyana is the scriptures and the wisdom and those deep deep points that we take to purify ourselves and then vigyana is practical application listening alone is never enough so then that grace is given by the guru to the devotee the true disciple should enthrone in the recesses of his heart the lotus feet of his revered guru guru's lotus feet should reside in your heart like hanuman ji opened his heart to show there resided lord rama and sita mata so shri guru charana saroj raj guru's feet are divine blissful hold on to the guru's feet forever and ever 
salute them with all humility and place them in your heart before you wake up in the morning when you sleep and during the day keep peeking whenever at that lotus feet while you are stressed going through difficulties you will find relief the first and foremost duty of a disciple when he meets his guru is to salute him with all humility swami ji is talking about dandavat pranams not because the guru wants it or he cares about it it's for the disciples evolution when ganges flows it flows from a higher plane to the lower plane so when the disciple completely lies down becomes flat like a stick does dandavat pranam at the lotus feet of his guru he is reflecting intense humility and the grace of the guru comes to him so in the bhagavata and one should do it when guru is physically there of course he should do it but even otherwise when the guru is not in physical form with you in your temple do that dandavat pranam to his picture to his grace it's as if as he is there the guru receives it in the bhagavata the story is told of avdhuta avdhut the tatreji maharaj he had 24 upgurus meaning 24 small gurus the whole nature god dust particles sand particles sun moon you yourself your intellect and the revered guru who is guiding you on this path they are all gurus some are shikshit gurus others are one is dikshit guru dikshit guru is your guru who is helping you on this journey of self realization he can be one but then you can have so many other gurus learn from everything in this earth learn from the five elements the sun the moon the sea animals and though insignificant little little things taught him each in his own way the supreme knowledge and then the tatreji shared it also it is in the bhagavatam if you have that book you it's very profound book for increasing the devotion in your heart he is the best of disciples who with one pointed mind without thinking of anything else worships his guru alone guru brahma guru vishnu guru devo maheshwara guru sakshat param brahma tasmay shri guru ve so we will continue this beautiful journey in tomorrow satsang hari om tat sat